Time to check in to find out the top 10 performances in South Dakota high school football. And of course, the crowning performance of the week will receive the Avera Orthopedics game ball from Midco SN to commemorate that outstanding achievement. Let's start in Northeast South Dakota, where there were a lot of big time players this week. We'll start with Ty Kramer, who honored a fallen teammate with an outstanding performance on the field. He ran for 263 yards and four touchdowns in their win over Ipswich. The performance served as a salute to the entire community who suffered a big loss as one of their teammates, Levi Wiedenbush, died just over a week ago. A small ray of sunshine in what's been a very difficult week in Warner. Back to the list of top performers. We stay in Northern South Dakota as Caden Halsey of Mowbridge Pollock powered his team through the air. Halsey connected on eight passes for 254 yards and four touchdowns as the Tigers took down Hot Springs. More big time performers from the Northlands. Stan Haskins of Britton Hecla ran for 199 yards and three touchdowns and also made a few big time plays on defense. Jesse Hastings of Mount Vernon Plankinton could not be tackled last Friday. He rolled through the Chamberlain defense for 197 yards and four touchdowns rushing and added a kick return touchdown as well. Congrats to Jesse. Angel Johnson of Viber Curley was a threat running the ball as well as catching it. He ran for 134 with two scores and caught another touchdown through the air. Hunter Merkley helped Lincoln take down the number two team in the state with a huge day. Hunter caught six passes and went well over the century mark in receiving. His teammate Tommy Thompson delivered as well. Thompson threw for 251 yards and three touchdowns and added another touchdown with his feet as Lincoln took down O'Gorman. Isaac Sumption led North Porter to a fourth quarter comeback against Falkton. The Titan quarterback ran for 242 yards and three scores and then tossed the eventual game-winning touchdown in the fourth quarter to boot. Xander Widenar of Langford powered in five different touchdowns in their win over Northwestern, but there is just one game ball and one recipient. Who would get it this week? Brady Hawkins would. The Seahawk quarterback had a huge game to hand MCM their first loss of the year. Hawkins showed that he could throw the ball. He threw for 222 yards and five, count them, five touchdowns and almost reached the century mark running the ball as well. Congrats to Brady Hawkins who's been one of the top players in the state for years. Keep on ballin' Brady.